Hi, this is Erin O'Reilly with Art to Ride, and today I wanted to give an update on Olivia and Chinook. This video that's playing now is actually from a video critique that Olivia sent in to be critiqued by Will in February of this year. She had been fully working in the Art to Ride method for uh, about two months at the time, and so Chinook is still pretty new to what she's asking of him here, but you can see that he's responding pretty well, and although he isn't really getting connected quite yet, and there's still a lot of up and down with his positioning, and he's clearly still pretty weak over his top line at this point, she is certainly on the right path and is doing a good job of getting him to the best place that he was capable of at the time. And so Chinook is actually one of the lesson horses at the facility that uh, this video was filmed at. It's actually the same facility that my horse is at back home in Newfoundland. And Olivia is actually one of five or six instructors at this facility now that are all using the Art to Ride method to bring the school horses along and to um, give them the foundation that they need to teach younger riders how to school horses in this way and you know giving the younger riders the ability to learn the basics on horses that are capable of working properly and that sort of thing. So it's been really fun for me to experience that and to see that shift. Everyone has been doing a really great job and the horses are coming along just wonderfully. So I wanted to show a little bit of that today. So again, the clip that you're seeing right now was filmed in February and the next clip that you will see was actually filmed today um, back home in Newfoundland and was sent to me by Olivia. I requested her to get some video of her ride so that I could do a little update on them. I had taught Olivia on and off in the past, uh, but over this summer I worked with her and Chinook quite a bit along with the owner of this facility who now also follows the Art to Ride method and does a really great job of passing that along to her students. But this little pony has come a really long way and we're all very proud of his progress. So we'll see a little bit of the change in him now in just a minute when the Clip changes over. And so this is from Olivia's ride today. So you can see now that he's very consistent all the way down in the stretch, really reaching out and down for uh, the contact with the bridle and really swinging through from behind. You can also see how much more he's filled in behind the saddle. The lower side of his neck is completely relaxed and he's quite content to stay all the way down on the stretch. Olivia also did quite a bit of working hand and lunging with him to get him to this point, but you can see now he's just a joy to ride and everything's happening nice and easily for him. He's quite a bit more active here in the walk than he was in the last video and he's just, you can see, really see the energy coming from behind and flowing up, throw up through his back and swinging all the way down and into the connection with the bridle. So it's really good work there. And then similar things happening in the trot. He's very consistent, just sitting right into Olivia's hand. She's doing a great job of maintaining that connection. Everything looks really easy. You can see that he's just flowing forward and he looks a whole lot more confirmed in the stretch than he did in the last video. He very rarely tries to come up out of it. He realizes now how comfortable it is for him to be there and he has the strength to maintain it. So big development difference. I wish I had side-by-side -side pictures of just the confirmation of this horse as well because he's so much more filled in than he was in the past. And now you'll see that Olivia is starting to play with how far she can bring him up without losing that connection over his back. So you can see here that there's a little bit of resistance when she first shortened the reins, but he's settling into that quite nicely and 
still able to come forward from behind and the cha the trough didn't change a whole lot when she asked for that. So she's not asking him for that every ride uh, and she's not asking him to stay there for an overly long period of time when she does, but he is strong enough now to be able to carry himself there for short periods of time and then go right back into the stretch like Olivia is showing here. So once again, this is just a quick update on Olivia and Chinook, and thanks for watching.